There he is. Ah, uh, we got our very own Minotaur, ladies and gentlemen. My life is now complete. Look at this guy. He's, <laughs> he's got a smiley face on his chest. Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming. And in this episode, we are going to uh, work, probably work on... Well, you know, I'm not sure what we're going to do, actually. I mean, there's a lot of things to do. It's not for lack of nothing to do. It's just trying to decide what to do. Um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get the fleet out of the way first in the settlement. We, get, we have to go do something in the settlement. Uh, so let's do that first. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Alright guys, as uh, you were, uh, saw there in the little montage we did, uh, we finally have our first S-Class frigate. Uh, and that frigate started off as a C-Class. In fact, I believe almost, if not every one of my frigates, have started out as C-Classes. 
And so we finally hit S class on the first one, and uh, which is really cool. Uh, okay, so we have two storage augmentations that we got out of that deal. And so what I want to do next is hop on over to the space station and add those to our interceptor. Let's do that next, and then we're going to stop off down at our uh, our settlement and uh, do that part. This is kind of just becoming the routine that now. Uh, so let's see. What system is the settlement in? Because we got to go there anyway, so we might as well. It is... Uh, oh, no, I'm looking in the wrong place, sorry. Uh, let's go to... Here. Oh, it looks like we're already in our, our settlement system. Okay, good. I just couldn't remember. Space station, previous current system. Here we are. Okay, we're going to uh, finish out these last three tech slots here. Um, and then I'll probably start filling in these holes down below where the storage is. Beautissimus. Oh, well, we got combat. Okay, so it says a new building opportunities are available to use the administration terminal in your office to commission a new building. This is not my office. This is the cantina. You can never find my damn office in this place. It's over here, right? Yeah, it's where the little icon thingamadoodle is. Okay, view construction opportunity. Approve a starship dock. Begins the construction of a starship dock that gives us 46 productivity and does not negatively affect their happiness. Or a farm module. Begins the construction of a multi-barn. This gives them even more productivity. Let's do this one. Okay, cool. So now I think we got to find the construction site and start giving it materials. It's over here, I'm guessing. Yes, indeed it is. We need to recharge our radiation protection. Alright, what do you want? Here, let's uh, call our freighter over here. You want 210 chromatic metal. Uh, freighter. Rare resources. Chromatic metal. Okay, come back in an hour and a half. And then I'll want more stuff after that. Greater rare resources, chromatic metal. So useful to be able to do that. Okay, so that gets us uh, caught up with our, our chores, if you will. And uh, so now we're free to do whatever we want to do in this episode. Let's take a look and see um, what we want to possibly do. Uh, expanding the base, yeah. I'm not really... I, I've decided, I don't know if I shared this with you guys or not, but I've decided I'm not really going to get too big into base building, at least not planet side base building, until we get to a new galaxy. And then my tentative plan is once we get to a new galaxy, then we're going to 
then we're going to actually start really focusing in on finding a cool planet and building a base. So for this galaxy, I want to just kind of get to the center of it and, and move on uh, because that's really my ultimate goal anyways, at least for now, because I've never actually finished this game or finished it, meaning gotten to the center of the galaxy. So with that in mind, um, what we could do is uh, just start moving towards the center of the galactic core. I really do want to get going on Dreams of the Deep, however, as well. And we have this trace of metal thingy for our robot dude. Um, why don't we, let's, let's go back to Dreams of the Deep and let's work on this for a little bit. The starships intercept a strangely decayed signal requesting those who hear it to investigate a nearby location. Restart mission using nearby structures. Restart mission using nearby structures. So... Hmm. So that means we could... If I'm reading this correctly, that means we could actually hold off on this too until we get to the new galaxy and then do it there. Because I really like the idea of an underwater base, actually. Which could end up being our actual permanent planet side base as well. Haven't really thought about that either. Okay, then let yeah, let's hold off on this a little bit more because again, this seems to indicate I can restart this wherever I want. So if that's the case, then you know, because this is something I'm looking forward to doing, but I'd rather do it in the galaxy that we're gonna gonna stay in for our home base than this galaxy. Uh, if that makes any sense at all. Maybe it doesn't. It's just how my brain works, I suppose. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this trace of metal. And if this doesn't take too terribly long, uh, then we'll start moving uh, closer to the center of the galaxy. Okay, so we got that figured out. Let's go ahead and go back to our office and teleport up to our freighter. Or can we teleport to the active quest system from here? I think we can if we can find the, the quest marker thingy. Shouldn't it be showing up? Is that what it is here? That is our current system. This is currently where Dreams of the Deep is, but it looks like we can set it somewhere else. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's um Let's go back up to the freighter so we can look on the star map. The galactic map. So it looks like maybe the robot thing, whoops, is in our current system. Because I think that's maybe what the two little robot icon thingies mean, perhaps. So if that's the case, then we will hop in our starship and go see if we can find out where this thing is. Because, yeah, I see it up on my compass there. My solar ship is with us too, right? It should be. Uh, didn't we eventually get that back on our... On the freighter here? Yeah, we did, because I was taking parts off of it in the last episode. Why isn't it here now? I don't know. I'm confused. I don't understand. If we called it here, is it replaced this... The interceptor? Probably. Let's just try it anyway. Yeah, it does. All right, that's not what we want to do. Well, I mean, it's not like we're, we're going to lose it. It's just that it'd be kind of nice to have them both in dock at the same time. But we'll just use the interceptor. Okay, so I think this is where we want to go here. The 
centuries coordinate co coordinates. Location is approximate. Okay, are we looking for like the sentry pillar thingy? Let's just look around a little bit. Did I put one of those recharge the thingamadoodles on here? I uh, did. Yeah, auto charger right there. Okay. The one thing about the solar ship that was awesome is it did that. The solar panels recharge the thing. You still have to have a module for it though. I think, anyways. Pretty sure we did, yeah. Okay, well, let's see here. If we can't spot it fairly soon, then we'll just land and use the scanner like the game wants us to. But if I think we're looking for a sentinel pillar. It should be fairly easy to recognize. Let's go into this view so we can see a little bit better. I really like the way the ship looks from the the rear, but I'm not super thrilled with the front of it. My interceptor that I have in our multiplayer series, uh, I really like the look of that one. By the way, if you didn't catch the multiplayer series that we did last weekend, um, I managed to secure a Star Destroyer style capital vessel in that stream, and so I'll be spending at least the first part of the next live stream building the base on it, so I'm excited to do that. I'm not seeing a sentinel pillar area around here. So let's quit wasting time and we'll just land and use our scanner. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> How the hell did I miss that? <laughs> oh boy, that's embarrassing. Okay, whatever. Oh, at least we found it. Am I supposed to fight these dudes? Uh, well, I don't actually have to fight them. I can just shut them down here. Okay. Leave? Pillar nodes. Operational boundary node. Okay, wait a second. Terminal in lockdown? Oh! I just saw... Okay, never mind. It wants me to destroy three of the nodes. Right. Okay. I forgot. I haven't done this in a while. Still can't get to it? Okay, now now what? Alright, we gotta we gotta kill the repair guys first. Such a pain in the butt. Trade places. Taking some damage here. Okay, terminal is vulnerable now, it says. Okay, uh, stop 
Not the exosuit download. Wait, sequences and schematics. Permit the integration to continue. Exosuit completes its valuable work, though I'm unsure what exactly it was attempting to do. Word splash before on the Hive's terminal suddenly legible. Archive status open access. Download hard frame blueprints. Sure. Let's do it. The terminal transfers data to my exosuit a set of Sentinel hard frame schematics. I feel a great sense of relief. Hard frame right arm. A collection of salvage components from a Sentinel hard frame reconditioned to fit the Minotaur heavy exocraft hybrid. Oh, that's going to be for the Minotaur. Nice. This limb override also functions as its own dedicated combat system. It deploys high velocity stun projectiles and serves as an excellent support weapon to the Minotaur's primary cannon. Oh, you know what? That's what I forgot to do. Oh, so we. So we learned the Minotaur? I thought we had did that from the settlement stuff. Or maybe this is part of the settlement. Oh, I bet you it's part of the settlement. Okay. I was I was thinking that the little robot pet thing was a, a different, a completely separate quest, but it must be just part of the settlement. All right, good. cool, guys. We got our Minotaur. Now, that does mean... Does that mean we need... Well, I mean, we could go back to our original base to set it up, and then we can just take it with us, or, or I should say teleport it to us. Um, because, you know, we've got the thingy on our freighter. Suddenly I hear an alarm beep, or, or begin to sound. New words swim forth upon the screen. Local anomaly detected. Category drone imposter. Attempt to network reconstitution. Initiate a remote memory perch. Uh, I guess so. Restoration packet broadcast. Awaiting remote response. The terminal attempts to broadcast data to the sentry, but something is wrong. I hear the voice of my exosuit, but none of the words make sense. The terminal screams noiselessly. The screen flashes to black. Leave. Did I just break something? If we go back here, can we turn off the terminals? Access. Oh, yeah. Weapons technology. This is a blue. Uh, or, sorry, a B class. Uh, no, I'm not really interested in the B class. Shut down the signals. I mean, we might as well shut them down while we're here, right? Are you working now? Reconstruct a drone. I can talk to him. Remote memory flash complete. Program deploy the sentry. Vocalization established. Initializing traveler idiolect. Greetings. Hello. Hi. Give a friendly greeting. Sentinel is delighted. It has never said hello before. You wear mechanical suit, living clothes with a voice. Yes. Must upgrade hard frame suit. Synonym Minotaur. Yes. Now you wear them. Uh, I think he's maybe he's talking about the arm thingy on the Minotaur. Go, go. Good. Goodbye. New objective, a trace of metal. Install the Sentinel hard frame right arm. Very cool. Okay, yeah, it, it didn't click in my brain at first that our little robotic buddy was part of the settlement quest uh, that eventually led to us now being the proud owners of the Minotaur. Or I should say the Minotaur blueprint. We don't actually have the Minotaur quite yet, but we will. Okay, good. So that, uh, we kind of, I kind of feel like we accomplished two things at once. We killed two sentinels with one... Uh, never mind. You get the idea. Okay, let's get in the thingy. Also known as our starship. Well, alright, so... What I think we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to our temporary planet side base and build the Minotaur platforms and build the Minotaur because Minotaur. And then we'll figure out what we're gonna do from there.
We're out of juice. Now we have juice. Okay, this is our. Ooh, that thing got kind of banged up, didn't it? Fusion engine repair. Uh, everything else seems to be okay. Okay, so we got to figure out where we're going to put the other exocraft thingy. I don't want to... Uh, what is this? We have... How do we have Gravitino balls on this planet? We never had them before. Glass, 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 glass. Glass. Glass? Glass. Is that my little buddy saying that? Must be. All right. Let's draw the bat. What? This planet never had Gravitino balls on it before. There must be, there must have been an update or something that added him. sure they haven't anyways. I, I just don't remember them ever having Gravitino balls. We're just getting away from the Sentinel so they bugger off. Do you remember there being Gravitino balls on this planet before? I don't think he does either. Okay, Sentinel 4 deactivated. Well, okay, what if we were to... See if we can maybe put the Minotaur thingy up here. Minotaur Geo Bay. There he is. Ah, uh, we got our very own Minotaur, ladies and gentlemen. My life is now complete. Look at this guy. He's, <laughs> he's got a smiley face on his chest. Oh, that's funny. Woo, look at that. Look at him go. So cool. I've been looking forward to getting one of these. If I, um... If I fall, does he take fall damage? That's actually the simple way of asking what I wanted to ask. I'm still confused about the Gravitino balls. Okay, so he doesn't have any any modules yet. He's just himself. Do I just like I <laughs> just like blow through stuff? Well, all the Exocraft actually do that. It's just kind of funny. Okay, so. If we want to deck this dude out, we're going to have to put some stuff in here. So he's got one, two, three um, of the supercharged slots. This is where it wants me to install the hard frame arm thingy. Oh, look at that arm. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. So he's got his basic engine and... This must be the jetpack. The thruster system. What does this do? Icarus fuel system. Solar recharge unit. Enables automatic engine recharging during the day. We need one microprocessor. Starship. Or no, freighter. Uh, we want crafting. And look at that. We have one microprocessor. What do you know? Okay, so 
let's, uh, well, here, let's just build it. Oh, it was already counting that microprocessor. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Um, here. Now we have two. Okay, let's try this again. Do, 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 do. Okay, so now we have a recharge unit thingy. Um, let's put the hard frame right arm in a super duper slot. And let's put... We have to have environmental control on these guys. That's interesting. Okay. The Daedalus engine. Let's put the Ariadne's flame. Let's put this thingy in here and that thingy in there. But are, are we missing the bonus, though? No, that does not give that engine a bonus, so it doesn't matter. What about this, though? That doesn't either. I thought this was supposed to charge this, but it doesn't... We don't get the bonus for it. Okay. So we'll just keep those three things in that slot for the moment. Drone broadcast detected. Embedded call sign. The sentry. So what is this? Is this just like a photon cannon thingy? Can I go into first person? I can't. Really, there's no first person view, huh? Because I can't... I can't see what I'm shooting at if I'm like... Oh, okay, so if I start shooting, the camera angle goes up. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Let's shoot that guy just because we can. Oh, this has a, a little bit of a, a dot effect too. Okay. We're gonna have to beef it up though. It doesn't it's not very powerful. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to beef it up. Sentinel searching. Okay, why don't we go up to the the anomaly and get um get the modules that we can up there for this guy. And then we'll also look uh start going around and looking at the trading stations and see, you know, what they have for it too. But now that we've built it, we can call it to us wherever we go uh, from the freighter. This is so neat. I love this. Can you change the colors on these guys? I bet you can. Yeah, I don't... I don't think he takes... I don't think he takes fall damage. Let's fall. He doesn't appear to be able to sprint. Let's fall from higher. No, I mean, we fell in the water, but I don't think that really matters. Can we go? Is he... Oh. Oh, look at that. We can go into the water with this guy. And it doesn't take my oxygen away. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. I wonder if we go near this if we'll take damage, because this thing will explode when you get near it. Oh, shit! That's not what I meant to do. Let's see if we take damage from this. Yes, we do. Okay. He seems like he can move pretty quick through the water with his jetpacks. And does he just break this shit? Yep, he does. Look at that. I wonder if there's a speed upgrade for him so he'll go faster when he's just walking. I love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and head up to the anomaly and start getting and go into the space stations and start getting some modules for this guy.
light beat library? Oh, this is one of those in-game radio things, probably. I might put some copyright-free music in there sometime, just for the fun of it. Exocraft radar. What's that do? Oh, we have to install it? Okay, that's the recharge stuff. Creatures? Companion register? Oh, that's for pets. Okay. So I guess I can't, um... I can't call my ship back while I'm inside the exocraft. So I can just leave him there, and then I can summon him back to his landing pad. So cool. Okay, exocap modification. Primary color. Let's go with with blue. Let's go with dark blue. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Uh, we'll go with yellow. It was orange. Actually, I don't mind the orange. And then accent color. Yeah, let's go with the gray. Save changes, yes. Okay, that works. Very cool. We'll head up to the space station first and see what modules they have, and then we'll do the anomaly. All right, this is the Exocraft guy here. See what you got, Meng. Minotaur engine module, Humboldt drive, Minotaur cannon module. We're only gonna buy S stuff. Um, that's for the submarine thingy. Which, uh, how many? Oh, we got tons of that. You know, let's just buy this now. That way we have it. Okay. Very good. Let's talk to these guys. I haven't really done a lot of exploring lately, though, so I don't know if we're going to get a whole lot from them. Give data planets. Hmm, we got 375 nanites. That's not too bad. nanites from him. Okay, Exocraft is here. Excuse me. All right, so Minotaur stuff. Where's Minotaur stuff? There's Minotaur laser. Uh, I think that's Minotaur mining laser, to be precise, but we're going to get all of it. Precision Minotaur laser. Oh, that actually requires Gravitino balls. How fortuitous. Even though I actually have some. Uh, Minotaur radar array. Use the quick menu to tune the radar to specific buildings. A high-detail radar device capable of upgrading the scanner technology to the analysis visor levels. Nice. Okay, so that's basically an analysis visor for the Minotaur. Research, exo... Environment hazard control unit. We already... Oh, that's just the usual one. Okay, what's this? Minotaur AI pilot. Semi-autonomous artificial pilot plugin for the Minotaur... Heavy Exocraft Hybrid. Installation allows Minotaur to traverse planets itself and engage in combat or mining activities to support its primary operator. So this is the thing that allows it to follow me and watch my back kind of deal, I believe. Okay, we'll get that. Research Exocraft upgrades. Minotaur Cannon.
I wish we didn't have to get back into the menu every single freaking time we bought one of these. Doesn't make sense. Minotaur bore digging laser. Okay. Pretty self-explanatory, I think. Self-greasing servos. This reduces fuel burn in the Minotaur's Daedalus engine. That's all for the Exocraft. Okay. So I think that's it. For all the stuff that we can get for the Minotaur. Fan freaking tastic. I don't think there's anything else I need to get here while I'm here. I can't remember. Okay, let's go back home and install what we currently have. That looks really neat. We should go check out some of these bases sometime. Refueling station Helios 42. That must be like one of those floating floating bases. Um, let's see, your bases. OG's current base. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, mod this guy up here. Uh, so, I'm just going to install everything and then we'll figure out exactly where we want it to go. Except for I do want... Wait a second. Okay, yeah. Yeah, let's just install everything. We need to make one solar mare. Okay. Install the radar thingy. Uh, the autonomous operation thingy. Oh, cool. That shows up on his shoulder. I love it. Um, Minotaur cannon and Minotaur boar. Minotaur boar. And... Self-greasing servos. Acid. Fungal mold. We need to find ourselves some fungal mold, ladies and gentlemen. mold is harvested from the gills of fungal clusters. The houseplant grows wild in a toxic climate but can be farmed in all environments with the hydroponics tray. And we of all the shit we have, we don't have any fungal mold. We have to go to a toxic planet. Let's see if we had it in here. I think it would be in number three. This is our crafting container. That's charts and alien items. What's this? Module and upgrades. Plants and... Whoops! Sorry, that's not what I meant to do. Wrong button. If I had it, it would be in here. So we got cactus flesh... We have Mordite in here. Gamma root. So, fungal mold is, that's probably one of those things we have to use our hazmat gloves to, to pick. Uh, oh, we've got some damage from fighting those guys. Let's fix this while I'm thinking about it. This too. Okay, I think we're good. In terms, yeah, here's our has, hazmat gauntlet. Okay, let's go back here for a second. Analog and guide. 
materials and items. Raw materials. Oh, not exotic goods. Get plants. Fungal mold. So we have to find fungal clusters and we have to find those in a toxic climate. Okay. And how many of those again did we need? Enough to make one acid. So we need, oh, we need 600. Yikes. Okay. So it looks like we're going to have to go farm ourselves up some fungal mold, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, we also bought ourselves a... a Minotaur Canyon upgrade module. Uh, so let's just throw that there for a second. Okay, so I'm going to... Put this, uh, whoops. No, 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 that's not what I meant to do. Uh, I'm gonna put this. Oh, I can't move it uh, until it's installed. I was gonna move this over by the engine. Okay, fair enough. So the hard frame, what exactly does this do? I mean, I know what it does, but I mean, is it just a module for the cannon? It's not giving the cannon a bonus. Minotaur cannon. Okay, so this is an upgrade for the cannon. So let's move it next to it. Use to cycle available weapon modes. Technology supercharged. This limb override also functions as its own dedicated combat system. It deploys high velocity stun projectiles and serves as an excellent support weapon to the Minotaur's primary cannon. So it is definitely a secondary cannon. Um, okay, let's go back out here. Oh, he'll follow me now, right? Because he's got the thingy on? Yeah, here he comes. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, let's get inside of him for a second. And I want to try the weapons out. Okay, so I think that's just the cannon. This is... Digging... Yeah, that's digging the ground. Okay. And this is this is kind of like a um, a pulse spitter, but at a much slower rate. But it does it does have the the dot on it though, which is kind of nice. Look at that little hot skip and a jump. Okay, that's just the yeah, that's the normal mining laser, and this is the pulse cannon. That's like his, his standard weapon there. Okay, so we've upgraded that by incre uh, increasing its rate of firepower efficiency and damage. That's just the digging laser, so that doesn't have anything that needs to go with. That's the mining laser. No, this is the mining laser. This is the upgrade for the mining laser. Um... Okay, yeah. So we'll put those there. Did we already check to see if these guys bonus each other? They don't. Okay, so I, I definitely want to put that in the supercharged slot so we have a little more boost. This I will move down by the engine once we can complete its construction. And then I think the rest of the stuff is kind of just random at the moment. Oh, look at him turn around like that. Can I stomp on these little plant thingies? <laughs> no.
No, but we can do this to him. That still doesn't... I don't know, that still doesn't seem like to, to be super impressive damage. Um... Okay, well, let's... Let's find a, some enemy sentinels and mix it up with them a little bit. Just to take this guy for a little bit more of a test drive. Oh, all we have to do is pick up some Gravitinos. Gravitinos that didn't used to exist on this planet. And now all of a sudden they mysteriously do. Okay, let's piss off some Sentinels. Alright, I just want to see how he fights autonomously here. Is he going to shoot them dudes? Okay, yeah, he's shooting at them. I don't know how effective he is, but he is shooting at him. Well, that's my dude. Okay, here. Let's kill, kill these little repairing guys. They're calling more in, but that's fine. Hard to hit. There we go. Yeah, I, I don't know that he's super, super effective. He's definitely doing work, but I don't know if it's efficient work. Okay, why don't we get in him, then? I mean, that's not too bad a damage. And keep in mind, too, we don't have him... We don't have him fully kitted out yet, either. It looks like it also does some AoE, which is super useful. All right, let's try this weapon. No, this one here. So I think the... I think the AO, uh, no, sorry, the DOT weapon is good for just that. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't want to get out of you. So I can't pick that up while I'm in him, so I just have to shoot it, I think. There we go. Okay, let's put a we'll put a dot on him. And we'll switch back to the cannon. It just does a lot more damage than the other one. Oh, this is a great time to run out of fuel. We need to use Warp hypercores for the fuel? Okay. Alright, well, it'll take me a little bit of getting used to. And it looks like his damage is really my damage. Which I believe it's that way in the, in the roamer, too, now that I think about it. So, I don't agree with, with that design decision of the game. If you're inside of a mech, that mech's armor should help protect you, but apparently it doesn't. Or it doesn't appear to, anyway. So, yeah, what the hell? <laughs> oh, 
Okay, well, what we need to do then is we need to go farm up some fungal mold. Excuse me. And I need to go around uh, to to the space, start traveling around through the different space stations and looking for uh, Minotaur modules. But you know what we could do? We could kill two Sentinels with one multi-tool by also just moving towards the center and then we'll just stop at the stations along the way uh, to the center and in fact for that matter you know we can just wait until they come across the next um a toxic planet too to get the fungal mode stuff that we need all right so he took a little bit of a beating here Oh, he's out of range. Okay, so we have to call him back to the platform. Whoops. I know this is not an ideal placement of this, but again, this is all temporary. This is not our, our permanent base. Dude, you're kind of in rough shape there, aren't you? Exocraft. We need one solar mirror. That, we're waiting for the fungal stuff. We need some fungus among us to fix that thing. And... Wow, that requires a Daedalus uh, or a warp hypercore. That's kind of expensive. I mean, we, not that we can't afford it, but still, it's kind of expensive. Okay, let's do an antimatter. Then we'll make the thingamadoodle, and then there. Okay, so we're patched all back up with that stuff. And powered by conventional carbon-based fuels. Oh, no, yeah, that wasn't the fuel. That was the repair. Icarus fuel system. That's the solar charge thing. So, should these guys bonus each other? They don't. I think we already looked at that, didn't we? Yeah, let's move that over to there. Okay. Is that guy talking? Sounded like he said something. Okay. Well, what we're going to do then... If he's if he's parked on this thing, will he follow me? Yep, he sure will. Is there a way to tell him not to follow you? AI autopilot active. Minotaur. Uh I guess you have to take this off. So there, there's, there's, you can't just like turn in, you turn that off and on without having to remove the module. That would appear to be the case. I could be wrong about that, but that's what it looks like. Okay. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna wrap up this episode here, and uh, next, the plan for the next episode is to move towards the center. And along the way, we'll look for fungal mold and we'll stop off at new stations and look for S-Class modules for our shiny new Minotaur. But I'm pretty excited that we finally got that thing. That was awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.